Now here on the other hand, all you have to do is just distribute the six. So we're gonna get six P again, bring down our positive sign. Six times positive three is 18 and bring down the Q, right? And then all you're gonna do simply is just bring down the positive sign in the middle and then put the rest of the term behind it. So seven plus four Q, that's it. When it's adding is different, right? Now it's also different. I'm gonna show you another way it's different. It's different if you have a positive sign and like, let's say a number behind it, okay? That's different. Now, if you had a one there, think about it. So we, we, we said that we turned the negatives in the middle into negative one because that actually changes the outcome of your numbers, you know? Because it'll make them negative. But when you have a positive one, it really changes nothing if you distribute them. It's still gonna be seven and it's still gonna be four, regardless. Same thing if this were to be negative, if you're distributing a one to it, the number's still gonna stay the same. It's still gonna be negative, because once you have a negative, it's gonna stay the same, you know? So it doesn't matter if you have a positive and you try to distribute, it's gonna stay the same. I don't know if that made sense to you, but what I'm trying to say is when you have a positive, you don't distribute the positive, you just bring it down. When there's a negative, you consider it negative one. Here, we're leaving it alone. And now we're just going to solve the problem down here. So we brought everything from this side down and now we're just going to solve it. So we have 6P plus 18Q plus 7 plus 4Q. 6P has no nothing we can combine it with because it has a P last name. Nothing else has a P last name. So we have 6P. Done with that one. Now 18Q. 4 also has a Q. So we can combine these two. So we have positive 18Q and positive 4Q. That's gonna give us, sorry, I can't do math, but that's gonna give us 22Q. That's something I suck at, adding and subtracting. 22Q. So we combine those two, and now we're done with them. And last thing we have is a positive seven, so we're just gonna bring her down, and that's our final answer. We have 6P plus 22Q plus seven. So that's how you do it if this were adding. Now, let's say that I had this. Let's say here I had a plus two, right? So in this case, we would distribute because Remember, if there's no symbol in between the number and the parentheses, you're multiplying, meaning when there's multiplication, it's multiplication to the other terms inside the parentheses. That's called distribution. So when you're distributing, you're basically just multiplying the number outside to each term inside. Okay, so that's different. Now, without the two, there's no need to do it, like I said, because this is, you can put one, but it doesn't change anything. Your, it, your thing is gonna stay the same, so it's just like you're wasting an extra step because regardless, it's going to come out to the same thing if you multiply 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 4 is 4. You see, it's different though, like I said, when you have a negative. When you have a negative, we're considering it a negative 1. Negative 1 can change the outcome that you get. Negative 1 changes the 7 to a negative 7. And it also changes the 4 into a negative 4. So we have to remember that. Negatives change the problem positive. Um, symbol by itself does not, okay? But if we had a two here, that changes the problem because remember, we are multiplying now because there is no symbol in between the number and the parentheses. So, same thing, six P and then plus 18 Q. And now we do the same thing on this side. So two to the seven, two times seven is 14. So we're just gonna put, bring our plus sign down. We're gonna put 14. And then 2 times 4 is 8. So we're going to do plus 8Q. And that same concept. So 6P has no same last name. We're just going to bring it down, cross it out. 18Q has the same last name as 8Q. 18 plus 8 is 26. So we're going to have plus 26Q. And cross those out. And last thing we have is the positive 14. So here's our answer. 
6p plus 26q plus 14. So let's try another problem. I just did that so you could see all the different ways. So if you're confused, I should have helped. And now, I'm gonna try a different problem. Okay. Now let's say I had this, let's go back to a simple one. Oy. Let's say I had two A minus four B plus three A B minus five A plus two B. Okay. So in this case, what all we're doing is combining like terms. So remember, you're looking for the same last name. So the last name here is A. Last name here is B. The last name here is AB. So that you can't mix AB with a just one B and one A. That's its own last name. That's like saying that person has two last names. You can't mix just one of their last names with the other person. You know, you have to find the same last name. And then we have another A here and another B here. So you're just combining like terms. So we'll start with 2a. So we're gonna put all the ones that end in the last name a in a triangle. So we know which ones we're combining. So 2a and negative 5a. Remember, consider the symbols in front of the number. So 2a minus 5a, because we're subtracting and adding. So we have 2a minus 5a, and that's gonna give us negative 3a, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that part. We're going to go ahead and put a negative 3a in the front of our problem. And we're done with those, so we're going to cross them out. Now I'm going to put a circle around the ones that have the same last name as b. So we're going to make a circle. Remember, we have negative 4b. Consider the symbol. And then we have positive 2b. So now we're going to combine them. We have negative 4b plus 2b. And that's just going to give us negative 2b. So we're just going to add that straight to our problem, negative 2b, and move on to the next one. So let's cross those out because we're done with them. And then the last one we have is plus 3ab. So I'm just going to bring that straight down into my problem, plus 3ab, and we're done. That's your answer right there. We have negative 3a minus 2b plus 3ab. Let's move into a different problem. Oops. Let's hope I don't get yelled at for that. Anyways, we shall proceed. 